Hey everyone, Bernard here and I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to the Film and TV channel and today we're going to have a look at um, a new drama television series on uh, Apple TV Plus this one uh, it premiered on the 30th of April today we're going to have a look at um, the series The Mosquito Coast please if you're new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notification so you know these little vlogs are coming out I try to inform and entertain so uh, if I do succeed uh, push that notification button so you get to know when these things come out I do information vlogs as well as these review vlogs etc on film and TV and you'll also see stuff on my football team Manchester City so if that's of any interest to you just uh, give that uh, a look as well or anyone you know might be interested I'd be most grateful uh, and please uh, if you need any followers or friends on Facebook and Twitter just, uh, just check me out I do post loads of film and TV stuff on there as well and there's links on screen so I do try to follow everyone back within two or three days I do check every couple of days and uh, follow everyone back on there and all comments are welcome about this series or uh, or anything you want to talk about film and TV and of course if you can't leave us a comment today you can just give us a thumbs up it's nice to get views but it's nice to get thumbs up yeah before I get into it yeah I mean um, I did have a comment on one of my vlogs that um, I'm just quoting stats and other people's reviews. Well, that's part of what I do. Uh, <laughs> it's my, uh, I actually put that, I think, on the title most of the time. It's information and reviews. So, of course, I'll include my own review on this as well. But I'll, it's just to give people information what other people are thinking as well. And I, I, I don't want to do what everyone else does. I don't think anyone else, everyone, anyone particularly does what I do. Uh, I don't want to just repeat. just want to start and go on and bang on about what I think about something. I, I want to give you an overall view of it. So... Please, anyway, if, uh, if that appeals to you, please stick with me. But obviously that gentleman that commented, obviously you, you have a choice, don't you? You don't have to watch. But uh, just a little bit bit puzzled. I did answer him and say, well, that's what I do. I mean, you know, I do stats and information to give you that information. And obviously then I give my own views as well. So anyway, that's how I like to do it. So uh, <laughs> uh, I don't really care. I'm not going to name the gentleman, obviously. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoy. Yeah, so we're going to have a look at the Mosquito mosquito Coast. Uh, developed by Neil Cross and Tom Bizzle, of course, based on the novel of the same name uh, by Paul Theroux, published in 1981. That was a long, long time ago. I never got, never got to read the novel, of course. I watched the film, but uh, more on that in a moment. Uh, the first season consists of seven episodes, so just the seven episodes. About 55-minute runtime, I think, from the first couple of episodes. Yeah, this is just a, a look at episodes one and two as I'm watching this, because obviously that's all that's aired at the moment so it's, it is a weekly thing you got the first two aired uh, together and now we've got five more episodes over consecutive weeks and it'll actually conclude on june the 4th 2021 yeah it's adapted of course from the best-selling novel mosquito coast and an adventure and character driven drama following the dangerous journey of a radical idealist and brilliant inventor uh, ali fox played by justin theroux who uproots his family for mexico when they suddenly find themselves on the run from the u.s government yeah uh say theroux stars as ali fox uh he's the main character in this Del disillusioned obviously with commercialization in america there's a lot of hatred about that and on the reviews i've seen i'm picking on you know uh, doing down America again, etc. But uh, it, is, it is what it is, isn't it? Melissa George is Margot, Ali's wife. Uh, Logan Polish as Dina, Ali and Margot's teenage daughter. And Gabrielle Bateman as Charlie, Ali and Margot's son. They're the main protagonists. There's quite a lot of uh, reoccurring actors in this as well. Is it light though? That's the thing. Well, review aggregator. I mean, some of these critics have probably seen the full se full series of seven episodes. As I said, I'm doing this review based on the first two. Uh, review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes. It holds just an approval rating with the critics of just 45% based on 29 reviews. So not great. Uh, average rating of 5.96 out of 10. Just a little below the, the sort of watchable rating I like to see. And the consensus reads, The Mosquito Coast of Suspense to Spare, but by burying the best parts of its source material in too many twists it fails to turn into a satisfying series but the audience disagree and I say most of the audience would have only like me seen a very limited amount of these episodes but the audience are saying 84% so that of positivity there was quite a big almost double the positivity rating of the critics so that was interesting on Metacritic the other site we'll look at uh, it uses a weighted average, which gives it a, an average of 55 out of 100. So again, just below that watchable rating. That's based on 22 critics reviews. Um, and it's uh, that's five positive, 16 mixed, and just one negative. It's only one negative, so that's not too bad out of those 22 reviews. And it scores anywhere between 38 out of 100 and 91 out of 100. I mean, one of the lowest scores is a guy I, use, I usually 
uh, used quite a lot in these reviews. Uh, Roger Moore from Movie Nation, he only gave it 38 out of 100. And he said, I found the series to be somewhat unmoored, lacking the subtext of the original source material. Here it's all about the violence, MacGyver, MacGyverish escapes. It's all jumpy and disjointed. Uh, Richard Ruperon gave it 5 out of 10. He's on the Chicago Sun Times. He said, this is a good-looking show with a talented cast doing everything they can to sell the material, but it's a major problem when the lead character is such an insufferable, selfish, reckless hypocrite who is forever spouting his hippie BS philosophy, even as he hardly blinks when he leaves a trail of blood in his wake and to, continues to endanger his family. They are Richard. You tell it. You tell it as it is, mate. Well, there you go. I think Richard sort of sums his feelings up there quite well. I think I don't think he likes the main character. Uh, and Brian Telerico, though he did like it, he gave it nine point one. He writes for the play. List. Uh, he said the Mosquito Coast is stronger in its unpredictable plotting than its dialogue and its momentum is remarkable. It feels like fans of the work of Vince Gilligan and Ozark will take to this the most, although the Mosquito Coast is arguably stronger in its first season than that Netflix drama was in its freshman out. You know, I, did, I liked all the Ozarks, to be honest with you. I, wouldn't, uh, I did enjoy the first season, but... Uh, a bit more on that in a moment as well. Internet movie database, Joe Public, you and me, the ones that really matter. I mean, obviously, critics have got their own agendas, haven't they, at, at, at times, that's the thing. But uh, 776 scores have been left uh, as I'm recording this in uh, on the 4th of May 2021, and it's averaging 7.7 .7 out of 10, so that's uh, not too shabby. Again, the audience, like with the Rotten Tomatoes audience, seem to like this a lot more than the critics do. Uh, some of the headlines, uh, the bad headlines so far, sorry, the good headlines so far very good uh, another one said good so far someone else said really good and some of the bad headlines uh, boring someone else said another bad tv show by apple oh poor apple and someone else said terrible production and script well there you go very mixed. I read through the reviews. There's a lot more positive than negative, as you'd expect from that uh, that rating. But uh, yeah, there was, there was comments about the political side of it, etc., etc. Right, my little thoughts. Yeah, I mean, Breaking Bad, Ozark. I mean, let's face it, was a superb uh, series in themselves. And uh, it's. Uh, I don't think after two episodes, I'm fairly sure this isn't going to perhaps get anywhere near those heights. But uh, I did find this these two episodes and the first two episodes engaging. Probably first the first better than the second and it does as your brain sort of you're trying to turn your brain off to watch it because some some things in it are a bit you know unbelievable but then you need your brain to work out well why is this happening but uh, you're not supposed to really know just at the start anyway uh, as I said some of some of the action scenes and what happens are, are sort of just there to move the story along and you just you do think in real life it probably wouldn't have happened but uh, as I said it is a sort of just just uh, turn half your half your brain on, perhaps, and keep your other half trying to think out why why all why is all this happening? What's what's going on? Uh, it is a long time since I watched the movie, of course, with Harrison Ford, Mosquito Coast, but it, uh, it does feel a little bit different. This I nearly nearly uh, tried to squeeze a watch of it in actually just before I watched this, but I didn't manage it. So, but it just seem does seem a little bit a million miles away from this. But as I said, it's a long long time ago since I watched uh, Mosquito Coast, or so may have forgotten things. Uh, uh, but uh, I do believe from reviewers, yeah, I do believe from reviewers it it, uh, it doesn't really, it does tweak the story somewhat. And uh, also with the book, I've never read the book, but uh, obviously people who've read the book are a little bit disappointed with this. So I think if you sort of try and link it back to the book and the old film, then uh, you perhaps might be disappointed if you're expecting something similar, because this is certainly a little little bit different to say the least. Um so as a project, just treat it all right. Call it something else. Don't think of it as Mosquito Coast. Think of it as something else. Obviously, obviously, there are obvious links with Mosquito Coast for a, from a promotional point of view, etc., etc. But if you ignore that source material, uh, I think you'll quite find it a bit silly in parts. Yes, definitely a bit silly. But uh, I found the first two episodes extremely interesting in a turn half my brain off sort of way. Uh, I can understand to say some of the criticism, uh, but as I said, most of the most of the Joe public, you, me, are, are positive, uh, and it's the uh, it's mainly the critics who poured score on the series, score on the series. To be honest with you, so I'm happy to be sort of imp quite impressed with this and, uh, and go along with many of the audience as well. It's it is a character driven thing with the occasional 
action driven scene etc a bit of jeopardy thrown in and uh, uh this early doors i don't quite i don't mind the characters as i said i'm not i'm not a big fan of the lead character he's a, he's a bit of a pain but uh, i think the chemistry is okay uh you know petulant teenagers involved as well and stuff like this and backstories who have not been told yet let's be honest about it this could this series could be dragged on forever because there's certain backstories who are not being uh, informed about at the moment so obviously it's deliberately done that so is that a bad thing or a good thing it can be both but uh, it certainly didn't harm the first two episodes because as i said i am thinking what why what how how the hell has this happened how the hell have they got into this position in the first place but uh, hopefully it will all, all start to unravel as the thing goes along as I said, there's many, many questions to answer. Like, like a really good, good thrill. I mean, at the end of the day, you, you ought to have thought of. Uh, but as long as it's a bit realistic, as I say, the elements of this are not quite hitting the spot on a realistic point of view at the moment. But I've tried to brush over that and just enjoy it for what it is as pure entertainment this is what i watch a series for which is what generally i watch a film for i don't i don't watch a film to be informed uh, i can watch documentaries about real things uh, i just want to be entertained and uh, i just want to chill and enjoy it and I, I must admit the first two episodes of this uh i did enjoy it so i'm looking forward to watching the next few episodes as well and see how it all goes uh, even if it can be a bit silly at times but uh, there you go Anyway, I'm not going to go mad with my score. As I say, it's definitely watchable. I would class it as very watchable. So if it's very watchable, uh, I'm going to give it an overall rating. So far, episodes 1 and 2 of the Mosquito Coast, I'm going to give a rating of 6.5 out of 10. Very nearly a 7, but I'll stick to 6.5. Because, uh, as I say, so, some of the unbelievability elements of it have sort of knocked it down a little bit. But uh, I'm still enjoying it anyway, and I'm looking forward to the next five episodes. Let me know what you think. I know you had a chance to watch this. Anyway, whatever you've got to do rest of the day, have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Film and TV channel, or perhaps you have a flick across. Have a look at my football channel, my citizen channel. All I ever ask of you till then is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.